Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to share a little um, trick or update. I'm currently printing these uh, um, Fifth Element stones uh, made by Hex3D on Patreon that I uh, support. And um, something I'd always wanted to try or I'd heard of is people um, using UV-based resin and brushing it on FDM prints and then curing it basically as a, a way to fill print lines, okay? And so, um, I printed a couple of these stones and um, on one of my printers uh, the slicing it just wasn't you know quite tuned properly and I ended up with a lot of um, little gaps and things okay in the top so basically kind of like under extruded um, at the top I don't think I had enough top layers I didn't have enough sort of like skin overlap type stuff going on but anyways I, I wasn't too worried because these aren't really gonna be like hero props or anything okay so and they're gonna be sort of all weathered and dusty and sandy and any whatever anyway so um i uh normally what i do is i sort of do a bunch of sanding and filler primer and whatnot and i thought okay well let's just see if this works so i just took some of my elegoo resin uh uv resin for for my elgu mars and uh brushed it onto the top of the print and just did it really quickly um i wasn't too concerned with um, getting it super even. Um, sorry, let me back up. I did a quick sand uh, with 180 grit on each side, like 10 seconds on each side, 10 seconds on the top, really quick, okay? And then uh, just blew all the dust off and then brushed this resin on. And then I put it in my um, curing station and I cured it for like a minute or two. And um, it worked, okay? It kind of filled in a whole bunch of the print lines. Now, I'm not really keen on using coatings. I've tried XTC3D, I've tried fiberglass resin. I just don't really like the way they work. Okay, now I haven't tried this on like a super smooth um, sort of sci-fi prop or surface or anything like that, but um, for this anyways, it works. So I, this is sort of, again, what the print looks like, how it came out. I was about to start using some glazing putty to fill it and then I thought well let me just try this UV trick and um, it worked okay and so this is one that I did just like about 20 minutes ago um, I, I brushed on uh, one coat of resin you can see a, a few like really small pinholes and stuff but that's just for me kind of rushing it again I didn't really care about getting a perfect finish on this because they're supposed to look like stone anyways but again this one was a quick sand uh, 180 grit just to take off some high spots. I brushed on one coat of resin just on the top of this and then um, I gave it a quick sand again with 220 grit again just like a light super quick I wasn't trying to be super uh, detailed with it and then I just sprayed some uh, red oxide duplicolor filler primer and if you take a look at this section where I have this pencil line in the upper corner I brushed resin onto that one spot and the rest of it I left. Um, so you can see all the, the print lines are still very present, okay? That would normally take, you know, at least probably two or three sanding sessions to kind of work that out. And then take a look at that spot right there. And that's just with one application of the resin. So I don't want to, you know, necessarily brush it all over this. Um, again, because I'm mainly because I'm not too just worried about the way this is going to look. I probably will just sand. Um, uh, this part sort of like I normally do for most prints just a couple more coats of filler primer but it is really interesting like look at how look at how smooth that top is with the resin um, it just did a really good job and it still kept some of the detail now I think if I was gonna do this again what I would do is I would use a, a better quality brush I just used a, a junky chip brush um, I tested a little piece of foam as well sort of sponging it on but I actually created some bubbles I would probably also blast it with a bit of compressed air just to pop some of those bubbles before curing it but that's pretty cool it just gives you an idea of um, how this stuff can be used and it goes on really thin right so um, this resin has the consistency of like, I don't know, like cream, you know, coffee creamer or something like that. So it's definitely thinner uh, and runnier than like an XTC 3D or, or other types of resins. Um, but um, yeah, it's just something to try out. So anyways, um, I hope that helps and maybe you can give that stuff uh, a try too if you already have a resin printer and an FDM printer. All right. Thanks for tuning in.